tutorial today and I'll be showing you guys how to create a dialogue in Unity 3D. So what is a dialogue first? So first a dialogue is basically when you're talking to a player and you have options. So this is going to be our finished options here. So if I went ahead and played this, press E, hi do you happen to have any seeds, yes or no. Okay, so yes and yes, can I use them? Um, no. And basically that's the ending, as you can see down there, it's the ending. And if we can just keep playing this, and there's a couple of different options you can go through, and also different actions that happen. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the project itself. Okay, so now that we are in a new scene, what you're going to want to do is add a canvas. Change the type of UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Basically, this just makes it as, as you can probably tell, scale with the screen size. Go ahead and make an image in this. Give it the source image of the scarecrow. So I'll put that in the link, a link in the description, Dropbox. It's about as big as we want them. All right. What I'm going to go ahead and do is add the text. So the text for him asking the questions. I'm going to just put hi in here. Just for me to see what's going on right now. And we may scale the font size up a little bit. There we go. Create a UI button. Make it a little bit larger. Change the font size of the text to be about 20. And then what you're going to want to do is name that text answer 1. Take the button, move it up. And duplicate it. And then name it answer two. Okay. So now that you have named answer one and answer two, you can go ahead and actually create an empty. Change the text name to question text question um actually uh yeah question text will work. And create an empty. I just did that and pull all this stuff in. There we go. And now that you've done that, we can actually start creating the dialogue script. So let's go ahead and create it. Okay, so now that you have done that, go ahead and delete the functions inside the script and duplicate, copy the uh, extensions at the very top and paste them. Change the first one to UI and then the second one to generic. So, um, UnityEngine.UI and System.Collections.Generic. After you've done that, you need to create two booleans and two integers, and then four lists. So let's go ahead and do that. Public bool answer one. So basically, what we're doing here is putting in booleans to tell us whether we answered the first one or the second one. We'll also create a function. So let's actually uh, finish creating all the stuff first. So let's create an integer question. List one, I'll tell you what that does in a minute. And question list two. Okay, so what are we doing here? Why are we having this integer? Basically, this integer tells us where we are in the dialogue so that if we have to end it, we can end that certain part or at that certain part. So that's why we have that. And we have two of them because there is two ways you can go. So let's go ahead and start creating the four lists. So public list and they're gonna both they're gonna both be strings um i say both which i mean uh, there's gonna be two of each type so this one is gonna be reply one so this is our first reply and then we have our second reply and then we have the first answer that the guide gives in the second and third fourth and then the down the road first second third fourth Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this, paste it, question, uh, actually let's just do dialogue one, so dialogue, here we go, one and dialogue two. Alright, so that is done, so that's all the variables we need. We need to go ahead and create the main uh, function here which is ask a question basically asks the question so what we need to do here is say if 
answer 1. So if we answered the answer of 1, we need to find question text. All right, so we need to find question text. We need to get the component on that question text. Text, so we're getting that component. And the reason we imported the UI is because that's how we get this text here. And then we need to say dot text equals dialog dialog one and then question to question list one. All right, so that is the end of that line there. Duplicate that and paste it twice and just say answer one and answer two are the same thing except we're just going to change it a little bit instead of dialogue one it's reply one and replies two so reply one and reply two down here and we basically need to change this to questionless two um so yeah that is that part copy this whole part here paste it and change it to answer two and then change the dialogue one to dialogue two and question list two. Okay, so that is it for that part. Now we need to create the second main um, function here. Two functions actually. Public void reply one. And then after that, public void reply two. And we need to change the function name so Let's actually change the list name up here, so re replies, because this is our replies, it's not one reply, it's a bunch of replies. Replies. Okay, awesome. Now that we've done that, we need to go into this function and say question list one plus equals one. And then question list two plus equals one. All right. This is basically adding our dialogue up until the end. Now that you've done that, you need to say answer 2 equals false, because this is a reply 1, so answer 2 equals false, and answer 1 equals true. Right after that, we need to ask the question. Ask the, ask the next question. Okay, basically copy this paste in here and change the true and false statements. So reverse it, and that is that. So that is the basics of this script. It will work right now, but it it won't ask us the question because we're not actually calling the ask question script. So let's go ahead and create an update function. There we go. And we're just gonna say if, actually um, this is for the ending, so I won't put the endings in just yet. We'll just say if input dot get key down. So basically, the reason we're getting the key down is because we want to call the dialog when we press whatever button we press. So we're going to press E to call the dialog. And this is basically going to say ask question. Alright, so we're also going to create one more function. This function is not that crucial, but um, we're going to do it anyway. Alright, and that's not how you create a function. There we go. And that is what we're going to do in here is just put a debug. This is for ending our dialogue here. So I will put the ending of the dialogue in a minute. All right, so let's just put ending here. All right, so now what's going to happen if we play this is actually we need to grab a couple of things first. We need to actually put the script on the camera. And I think there's actually one last thing we need to put on, yep, the last uh, variable, game object, ask in canvas. Ask in canvas. And basically, we're just gonna say, over here, ask in canvas. There we go. Dot set active, dot game object, sorry. Ask in canvas, dot set active. True, all right. And now we need that we disabled this, we can assign that in, so let's just put that in. Okay, so we need to go ahead and enable answer one, because we're going to be on answer one when we begin. And 
now we need to put our replies on our dialog in. So I will do that and I will be right back. Okay, so now that that is put in, basically what I'm going to say is, first thing I'm going to say is, hi, do you happen to have any seeds? And if you say no, it's going to call this one here. So make sure element is zero, by the way. Element zero needs to be nothing. So don't put that in. Um, basically just skip one because it's calling this one. It won't call this one, sorry. And I'll call this one. So basically you ask the question and this reply one is the good answer. Reply two is the bad answer. And if it's the bad answer, it calls the one over here. And if it's the good answer, it calls the one over here. So that is that. Let's go ahead and play it. And hopefully this works. Press E. Hi, do you happen to have, actually, yes, that is a problem right there. The text, the font size needs to be a little smaller. Okay, there we go. Let's play this. And, of course, we need to turn this back off. Alright. Hi, do you happen to have any seeds? Um, yes, I do. Actually, both of them are yes, so that's a problem. Let's go up here and fix that. It looks as if, um, let's see, replies 2, replies 2 needs to be changed there. There we go. That works. Play it. E, yes and no. So if I say no, he says, uh, nothing because we've not actually put anything in for him to do. That makes a lot of sense. Alright, so basically, um, Let's actually put the text back, back in. Alright. So, on click, we need to call reply 1, and then we need to call reply 2. That's one thing I forgot to do there. Alright. And that should be one of the last things that we do before we have a finished dialogue. Okay. Hi, right, do you happen to have any seeds? Yes, I do. Or no. Let's say no. Sigh, sigh. So I cry, cry, sob. Um, and that is the, one of the endings. So if we don't maximize this, we can see where that is. So on our main camera, there we go. Press E. E, there we go. If we say no, sob, cry, cry, sob. That is answer two, and it's question list one. So that's how our ending is going to be. And we can go all the way through this. E, how do you happen to have any seeds? Yes. Yes, can I? Yes, can I use them? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. And that would be one of the endings. And that one would be answer one, question two. Or, or we can play this again and say no. Yes, um, no. And then he goes the sob, cry, cry, sob with a bunch of exclamation points at the end. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this ending in. It's going to be in the update, and we're going to say if answer 1 or answer 2 is what we're going to say, and and, actually we need to set this to true, so if it's true, sorry about that, alright, so now what we're going to just have to do is if it's answer 1 and and, if we are, if our question list, so question list 2, equals equals one then that's going to be an ending and then we're going to end the dialogue there we go and also we can see down here this is the question list one on answer two so let's go ahead and duplicate this and paste it copy sorry question list two answer two there we go we end the dialogue and same thing except change the answer to be answer one and the question list would be three all right so let's go ahead and try that out so if we now played this we should see a ending down at the bottom e hi do you have to have any seeds no ending there we go play it again yes can i use them no that's an ending and yes, um, yes, and that's also an ending right there. It should be anyway. Let's go ahead and look at what that is. Question list two and answer one. All right. 
let's go ahead and answer, sorry, answer one, sorry, and question list two. All right, so that is how to create a dialogue in Unity 3D. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next tutorial.